I have a, I have a prescription for marijuana here in California, medical marijuana. Uh, it's for anxiety, primarily anxiety about getting arrested for marijuana. <laughs> so let's clear that right up. Uh, good, that was the first one. Um, I, recently I was on the, uh, a flight with the worst people in the world. The two were, I was in the middle seat and, uh, they, coincidentally they were father and daughter and the daughter sounded like, uh, how can I put this? She sounded like, daddy, 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 I need my laptop. Daddy, please, daddy, hand me my laptop. Uh, she was in her early twenties, by the way. Let's, <laughs> let's cut that out after we're 13 ladies. Uh, Daddy, Daddy, I need my laptop. Dad, please, please, we're about to take off, Daddy. Laptop, I need it. Daddy, 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 Daddy. So that was terrible. Uh, but then her father had reached a point. Have you ever seen a man who's so miserable that he's given up on talking and he's just grumbling? And she's like, Daddy, Daddy, do you also have the case? I need the case and the laptop. And he was like, <laughs> Uh, he did speak clearly once, though, when I asked if he wanted to switch seats with me. He said, no. <laughs> that was pretty clear. But that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was as we began to take off, this is all true, uh, he, we were starting to take off, and he reached across me, and she also reached across, and then they clasped hands <laughs> over me. <laughs> And then he started to count down from 10, nine, eight. This is all real. And then she named all the people that she loved. She was like, love you, mommy. Love you, daddy. Love you, Uncle Rick. Love you, Jeremy, which I don't know who he was, but good for him, he made the list. Congrats on that. So that's not okay. You can't clasp hands. That's inches over a man's penis. You're not thinking about that. I was, that's awkward. Just, you know, he's too close to clasp, too close for comfort. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't do anything because I'm a coward, but I wanted the things I thought of, I wanted to do something. And the things I thought of were, one, obviously, first, just slowly push <laughs> upwards. <laughs> Until I touched their hands and then they were like, what are you doing? I just say, what are you doing? <laughs> And the other one, I think more clever, would have been, uh, what would they, what, what, I mean, what could they do? What could they do if when they're clasping hands, I just slowly <laughs> put my hand <laughs> over theirs, <laughs> and then I just whisper under my breath, you mind if I get in on this? <laughs> Dearest Prince of Darkness, Lord Satan. Extinguish the non-believers on this plane. Gladly take my life in the process. Always remember, Satan, you are my daddy, daddy, daddy. Okay, I want to do some quick characters for you guys. Uh, this first character, uh, this is like a hip-hop guy. He's pretty hardcore, but when he laughs, he laughs like a young Asian schoolgirl. Yo, what's up, dude? You want a club later? Yeah, I'm about to hit that up. If I'm lucky, I'll be hitting something else up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this next character... Uh, this next character, well-written character, is... Uh, this is a robot who's about to get busy on the dance floor by doing the person. All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> oh, I have emotions and I need to eat to live. <laughs> and then finally, uh, this character, this is a guy who, oh, he loves pistachios. He loves them. They're his favorite food. He says it all the time. But his reaction to pistachios makes everybody have to leave the room. <laughs> oh, I swear, I gotta turn that thing in or get rid of it. Oh, you guys are eating pistachios, huh? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah!
Why is everybody leaving? Thank you. Good night. <laughs>